For the South African roux, of course, try to use as many whole spices as you can. Roast these whole spices in a skillet or wok until fragrant. Then grind them in a spice mill or coffee grinder. Now mix all your spices, vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar into the meat and marinate overnight. Now set up your KitchenAid with the grinder and sausage stuffer. The sausage stuffer that you'll be using will be the narrowest one. Measure your casing until it fits over the sausage tube and cut it with a pair of scissors. Allow two inches at the end to hang over. You can tie these ends to prevent the sausage from falling out during drying. Now stuffing the sausage actually requires two people. One person is going to be holding the tip of the tube and guide the sausage as it comes out from the extruder. The sausage should not be overstuffed nor understuffed. But as the sausage comes through the tube, this person is merely going to be pulling the casing away from the tube. The other person will be responsible for pushing the meat into the grinder so that it can come out of the extruder. Just a few helpful tips here. One, we're not using any blades in the sausage grinder since we're already using coarse ground beef. The second is to place the meat in its bowl right beneath the sausage grinder in case you have a sausage stuffer that it leaks. This will prevent all the juices from dripping onto your work surface. The last thing is to have a tray ready into which you can place your sausages. To dry the divorce, I hang the sausages in my oven with the convection fan and the light on. This will take about two to three days to dry. Enjoy! More recipes can be found on sammywongskitchen.com or social media. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks!